Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. As the uh, token person from Ireland in my uh, social network here in Israel, I get asked all the time, what's the best Irish pub? Do I recommend any Irish bars in Jerusalem? Let me answer the second question there straight out the bat. Don't recommend any Irish bars in Jerusalem. There are, however, a few good not Irish bars. I recommend saving your money going there instead. However, if you happen to be in Tel Aviv, then there is an Irish bar that I really recommend. It's a place called Molly Blooms. Now, they have a few different branches, but the kind of flagship branch, if you will, is where I'm sitting outside today on this very, very hot day in Tel Aviv. It's really hot, really sticky, so there's nothing quite as good as a uh, Magner's uh, to cool you down, aka Bulmer's in Ireland. Uh, this is a popular haunt among the very, very small Irish community here, which is really mostly Irish Jews like myself. We also have a uh, Irish people working on construction projects and Molly's kind of the uh, the haunt if you will. Now this particular branch is located on the intersection of Hayakon and uh, Mendeli and uh, this place on Patrick's Day is absolutely even with people. The reason I like this and don't rate the other Irish bars I've been to in Israel is firstly this is actually a real Irish owned establishment. Uh, one of the co-owners is a guy from Dublin um, and uh, this is also when they'll put the Six Nations up on the screen um, when the rugby's in season. So this is a real Irish place. The other Irish bars I visited in different cities in Israel have just kind of been, you know, those kind of uh, almost uh, insulting uh, attempts to, to, to be fake Irish with the, uh, and all that stuff. So this is, this is the real thing. It's really cozy inside. Uh, they have, as I mentioned, Bomers on tap. They have Guinness, of course, and a few other uh, Israeli drinks as well. They have Irish trad sessions from local um, visiting Irish musicians and also just Israelis who are into Irish music. So uh, let's go take a look inside. The, uh, the, the barman's kind of given me permission to film. So let me take you around uh, Molly Bloom's Irish pub on Higher Cohen in Tel Aviv. One of the signature features of Molly Bloom's is these uh, mock Irish passports which they have on the way into the bar. These actually are menus so they've got their full drinks and food menu listed there. In terms of food this place does some uh, Irish pub classics such as fish and chips. They've had uh, deep fried mushrooms here, not sure they're still on the menu. As well of course as brown bread so if you're looking for um, a taste of home while you're over here in Israel in the hot, hot weather then uh, this is a place for some food as well. Subscribers to my YouTube channel may not be aware of this fact, but I actually spent a very enjoyable summer in New York City many years ago on what's called the J1 visa, uh, interning at Irish Central, which is uh, Neil O'Dowd's Irish American News Empire. And while there, I got to visit a lot of Irish uh, communities living in the tri-state area, up in the Yonkers, as well as in New York City. And uh, combined with my extensive field research here in, uh, in Israel, by which I mean sitting, sitting in any Irish pub I could find on Google Maps, I've come to the conclusion there are a few things that distinguish a truly good uh, Irish pub outside of, outside of uh, Ireland with this kind of not so great alternative. The first thing, there's, here's a few things, uh, field tips I'd give to people uh, try, trying to assess the quality of them. So the first thing about Irish pubs is, um, is always bar service. You never see in, in Pugota in Ireland, at least I've almost never seen it. It's been seven years since I lived there full time. But uh, you don't really have waiters and waitresses coming around to the tables. You go up to the bar, you order your drink. So I love that about Molly Blooms and uh, any other bar of that nature. You just go straight up, order your pint. Uh, the second thing is that people are drinking uh, pints uh, largely uh, instead of uh, shlishes or even a uh, quarter liters, which are some, you'll see a lot of in Israel. Um, you always have your few kind of dowdy characters camped out by the bar for the whole day, part of the furniture. So you have those in Molly Blooms as well. You have, of course, the actual wall, wall fixtures and you have the kind of uh, characters as well just kind of sitting there by the bar making banter with the barman. Uh, what, what else can I point to? In Ireland, bars are first and foremost venues for mixing and mingling over a pint and that's another important factor that the normative value of alcohol in Israel, they, they do what's called a half litre. In Hebrew, it's called a hetzi. And in Ireland, uh, the standard measure is called a pint. So uh, when you've got yourself a good pint glass, that's another indication that you're in a place that actually understands Irish bar culture. So uh, the focus in Irish bars is very, very, most, very, very much on the uh, on the consumption of pints with your friends, um, and the food is kind of secondary. So when you see Irish pubs in Israel, where they have that big kind of uh, neon shamrock signery, and uh, you can just see there's never been an Irish person involved, and uh, table service, and they're mostly selling you know stuff they think is uh, is Irish food like pizza. 
you know you're in a fraud of an establishment. So Molly Blooms is a real deal. It has it's had the real input of actual Irish people, uh, and that's very evident when you walk inside and you see the uh, the way the place is decorated and just the way it's laid out. It's very much an Irish bar kind of feel. Uh, those are just just kind of some of the things I'd point to when you're when you're sizing up the Irish bar experience. Molly Blooms is as close to the real deal as I found here in Israel. It's a place where you'll actually find people who come from uh, come from Ireland and uh, things that are important in Irish culture like for instance the Six Nations Rugby Tournament or the GAA matches they'll put up on the screen here whereas if you go to an Irish bar in Israel that's uh, had no involvement from Irish people just run by Israelis they'll never have heard of the Six Nations never mind putting it on. Uh, locals interested in Irish culture is uh, checking out Molly Blooms here in Tel Aviv.